All right, guys, how's it going? Today, we're gonna to be reviewing my 2008 Mark V GTI that I've owned for about six months. So now that I've finally owned it for a while, I've got to experience all the pros and cons of it. I finally feel comfortable on making a review. And by the way, guys, right as I'm recording and did all the B-roll, somehow, I don't know how, but my mic broke. So, so hopefully the camera quality isn't too bad. I haven't used just the camera quality in quite some time now but hopefully it is manageable. Anyways, guys, yeah, so I've owned this car for about six months and I've honestly loved every moment of it. It's, for the most part, it's been just the perfect car for me. It has such a good balance of practicality, fun factor, it's super fun to drive. Of course, it has a six-speed manual and overall, it's a great car. We'll start with the interior, the leather seats. I probably would have preferred the cloth seats, the cloth OG Scottish kilt seats, but the leather seats are definitely super nice. They look super nice, for the most part, they've been super durable. I don't have, like so far, I would say like they're in 9.5 condition. I don't have, I noticed like an odd little scratch or whatever, but for the most part, they're basically flawless. Overall, those seats are good. They're comfortable. They have really good side bolstering and no complaints. And if you guys are worried about buying this car and perhaps there's not enough leg room or whatever, don't be worried at all because there's actually ample leg room. Um, I've had my family back there. I've had my, my girlfriend's stepdad. He's like six foot five, 250 pounds, and he fits perfectly and with even leg room to spare. It doesn't really seem like it, this is obviously the four-door four door GTI. I'm not sure if there's an exact difference between the two-door and the four-door, but there is lots of space in here. Like headroom, I, I, I know my, the camera can't pick up the whole room here. Headroom-wise, it's great, no complaints, even with the sunroof. Um, everything about this, super spacious. I never feel cramped. So in terms of space, this car is fantastic. Now, in terms of the steering wheel, I love the steering wheel. I have no complaints. The steering wheel controls are perfect. The flat bottom steering wheel, the flat bottom, it's not fully flat bottom, but how many times are you gonna say flat bottom? The GTI logo, I love the steering wheel. I think it has good grips. I've heard people complain about the leather, but personally, I have no complaints whatsoever. I like it a lot. Uh, the tack, I liked a lot too. Very simple, you got the middle screen here. By the way, that's 130,000 kilometers, um, not miles, which I think translates to like 70,000 miles. Great clear speedo, no complaints there. We have the direction, we got the time, and you can also change it to, I think mine's, mine right now is temperature and how many, how many kilometers, rough kilometers are left in my tank or miles. So overall, the steering wheel, the tack display is great. Now for the middle console. The middle console is awesome. Now this car is from 2008. Now Volkswagen definitely is a great brand, but I didn't expect it to have a great dual climate control system, especially in 2008 when it wasn't as common and kind of, I wouldn't consider the GTI to be an entry level car, but it's definitely on the cheaper side. It's not like a BMW or a Mercedes or even an Audi. But the dual climate control system is awesome. It's, I've never had one. This is my first experience in owning one and I have no complaints. It works really well. Uh, I just I had to go get the AC recharged and I think it, had, it was pumping out no AC and the last time the previous owner got recharged was about a year and a half prior. So that's kind of worrisome. But for the time being, the AC works fine. The heat is great. The seat warmers also have five levels of warmness. I don't know if that's the right term there, but uh, the seat warmers have been great. No complaints there. Super simple. Obviously we just have radio and whatever. And I'm actually using a converter, uh, a aux converter. The aux is actually in the center, center glove compartment. I'm currently using a Bluetooth to aux converter and it's been working great. Uh, we got traction control in the middle. Again, I'm driving the six speed manual and I love it. The gears are great. It's great throws. You know, they're definitely not as short or as buttery smooth as like a Honda Civic, but for them, but for what it is, it's good. You know, no complaints there. One feature I actually really love about the GTI is the fact that it actually has multiple settings for the middle console. Um, I'm someone who I drive a lot. I do a lot of road tripping. And so I love the fact that you can really adjust this middle console, fill it up to whatever level you want your elbow to be in, t in terms of height. So overall, the interior is fantastic. Now, in terms of space, the space in this car is perfect for me. If I had like a family or something, it would be borderline like, like right now I'm actually in hockey season. So that's why I actually have my hockey sticks in the back and then my hockey equipment in the back trunk. Uh, my hockey equipment for, fits great. And I had a Honda Civic SI Coupe before and my hockey equipment just barely fit. So my hockey equipment freaks great. I always have my dog in here. He loves it. I love the four door factor and overall it is fantastic. But anyways guys, let's get to some driving. Cause that's what this review is all about. 
Uh, driving, guys, I love this car. It's so fun. You know, I had a Debra X before and I missed the turbo. I missed the turbo aspect. I missed VTEC. I had a, a Honda Civic SI, like I mentioned before, before this car. I think it's pretty good comparable to this car, but I love turbos. They're just so fun. You can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong with the turbo. It's really peppy. I wouldn't say it's the fastest thing out there. It's definitely not fast, but it is definitely quick. One thing I will say though, is if you're gonna purchase this car or drive it, you're probably gonna notice the clutch travel right away. Uh, the word I would use to describe it is just a bit awkward. Here, let me do a pull real quick up this hill. Super flat. A little bit of a uh, little bit of understeer there but great handling car no complaints like for the money for the value of this car it's fantastic it I would dare to say it's not as aggressive or as tight as my Civic Si was but the handling considering it's super considering that the suspension is super dampened and super comfortable it absorbs bumps way better than any other cars I've owned the handling is fantastic if you take all things to consideration it's just a great balance like one word i'd use to describe this car is balance you get a little bit of everything you get the four doors you get the hatch you got the practicality decent reliability well good good reliability in terms of my i guess experience but overall again fantastic car just well balanced and then you also have the whole tuning side you got the fun factor side you got the driving side and the six speed manual i love it guys of course i'm in rush hour uh, but here's the next segue i guess is clutch travel so i just touched on it before but clutch travel i've heard a lot of people complain about it and i definitely did notice it and it's definitely something you're gonna have to get used to if you plan on owning this car it's it's super awkward uh, I would say that's the best terminology I could use to describe it. It's, I, I'm completely used to it now. I have no issues with any with it now. But when I first bought this car, okay, that guy's just merging into another guy. <laughs> but when I did first buy this car, it was definitely something I did notice, I didn't enjoy, and I had to get used to. The clutch travel is super long. It's not heavy or anything. It's just super long, and then it grabs at like the very tail end. So for every day normal driving, it's fine. But once you're in like. I guess rush hour or traffic it starts to get very very annoying and your ankle I know like if I'm in really bad I guess traffic my ankle does tend to hurt all right guys so in terms of specs the 2008 mark 5 GTI has approximately 200 horsepower 270 foot-pounds of torque however I have heard differently I have heard that Volkswagen tends to I guess under quote I don't know what the proper ter terminology is there but they tend to undervalue the actual power it actually makes and i've heard that it actually makes around 215 horsepower 225 foot pounds of torque don't quote me on that but it's around that range and that they just i don't know why they i don't know why companies do that but this car has plenty of power and for the average person this car is gonna be fine and in terms most people are, will probably consider it to be fast i i don't consider it fast but i definitely do consider it really fun and really peppy and i don't really have any complaints it gets it just it does everything that i wanted to do but it does it doesn't blow me away but it definitely is fun to drive like the turbo kicks in you hear the spooling it's it's all fun and games but i will say if you do want more power though there is many tuning options so where i live in canada i live near calgary alberta and where i live there's only two options there is unitronic and then apr apr is a bit more expensive it's around 900 to a thousand dollars depending on the shop but i definitely do crave more power as does anyone especially when you're when you have a turbo platform and you and just a quick tune can just do can just be night and day so when i was test driving cars i, I test drove a couple uh 2008 gtis that actually had a apr stage one tune and i was blown away the difference that a stage one tune with no mods makes on this gti is crazy i think you get around 50 horsepower i'll, I'll flash a picture on it of it right now just so don't quote me on this <laughs> i think you get around 50 horsepower around like 60 foot pounds of torque somewhere around there and the difference is crazy so who would i recommend to buy a 2008 gti well i would say it's more of a car well it's it's more of the mature car the mature turbo car um 
but in terms of who I'd actually recommend this to is someone who needs to, someone who has a bit more versatile of a lifestyle, someone who, who needs more practicality, who has perhaps a pet, I have a dog, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted a, 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 a hatchback. I would recommend it to someone who, who needs a little bit of everything, and that's exactly who I am, and it's met all my needs, and I have absolutely no complaints. If you're someone, though, who doesn't really necessarily need the four doors, you don't need the practicality, and you want a fun car to drive, I wouldn't say the GTI is the best option. I would say, in this price range, you can find other cars, I don't know, a car that comes to mind is maybe like a, a V6 Genesis Coupe, or a, a BRZ FRS, you can kind of find them in some type of similar price range, or even a double X. But if you are someone who wants something that's super well-rounded, the GTI is, is the perfect car. Like, I just have, I have no complaints. Like, it's super peppy, a great transmission, everything is fantastic. All right, guys, let's do a quick poll here. Let's actually put it in first gear. You never do these guys. gosh oh, I want to get this cartoon so badly oh, it's so much fun guys I can't get uh, the turbo the turbo spool is just so addic addicting it's just so addicting guys don't know what else to say I don't want to do another first I don't I don't really like doing first pure I don't really like doing first gear poles but Ah, so fun guys. It's definitely not like scary power or anything. It doesn't have the same grip, some same traction that my Deborah X had, but for what it is, it's fantastic. It's definitely more peppy, more more powerful than like a Civic SI. But it's not it's not blow your face off fast or anything. But for what it is, again, you can't complain. Word of the <laughs> phrase of the day for what it is. Anyways guys, there's my review on my 2008 Mark V GTI. Owner's perspective. If you guys have any questions, any concerns, definitely comment down below. I'll get right back to you. But anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later.